I think that the moment he arrived on the scene uh, in the big public eye in 1945, June 1945, when Peter Grimes was first premiered, I mean, instantly here was recognition that, that there was a, a composer with immense sort of musical, innate musical talent, but also somebody who had an incredible um, an eye and an ear for the dramatic, for, for the stage. And not in terms just of uh, sort of big tableaus and big structures, but also a way of knowing how an evening is going to evolve from the point of view of a member of the audience. And this keen dramatic sense immediately put him on the map. I mean, he would then be the, you know, the first British composer for about 300 years who was, in a sense, primarily a dramatic and opera composer. Peter Grimes and, well, Peter Grimes in particular um, is just the most wonderful opera. I think that's, um, for me, that's his best work. Uh, I just think it's a wonderful piece. Um, I think when you see these pieces on stage, suddenly anything that might have felt um, sort of distancing or weird suddenly comes together in the actual live performance of it. So I would really urge people who maybe think, ooh, I don't like Britain, to um, give it a chance. Because I think it's a little bit like saying, I don't like Shakespeare. Yeah, it can feel a bit of a struggle, perhaps to sit down and read it in your own home. Or, but if you go to the theatre and see it done by great actor, singers <clears throat> in this case, um, suddenly the whole thing makes sense. The, the whole nation is, is, is veering uh, towards Britain at the moment and it's absolutely um, understandable. I, mean, it's, uh, I think we, we should, I think we should recognise that he is, uh, the, the, uh, he's a man, he's a composer of great stature now and, and that needs to be recognised and it, it needs to be promoted and explained um, uh, and you best explain that by performing the work.